reducing balance method or written down value method. We discussed the straight line method before where we said it was equal depreciation was charged over the life of the asset. Then we moved on to accounting entries and discussed two methods of recording or accounting for depreciation. Now we have come back to the methods and we are discussing another method called the reducing balance or written down value method. Straight line method and WTV method are the more common methods of charging depreciation. Under the reducing balance method, a fixed rate on the written down value of the asset is charged. So let us take an example where our asset costs only rupees 1000 and suppose the fixed rate is 10%. So we have rupees 1000 cost of the asset. First year we have depreciation at the rate of 10% on 1000 is only 100. Therefore now the written down value of the asset is 900 at the end of year 1. Next year, in year 2, depreciation is again 10%, but it will be on the written down value, 10% of 900 would be 90. So, depreciation in year 2 is 90 and the written down value now of the asset at the end of year 2 is 810. If we take one more year, let's say another 10% of the written down value of 810 and we get 81, so that the written down value is now 729 at the end of year 3. So under the reducing balance method, we charge a fixed rate of depreciation on the written down value of the asset. Since the written down value of the asset goes on reducing as the years go by, the amount of depreciation goes on reducing under the reducing balance method or the written down value method. There is a fixed rate on the written down value of the asset and the amount of depreciation goes on reducing each year because the rate of depreciation, the amount of depreciation is a fixed rate on the reducing balance of the asset. Depreciation plus repairs is uniform every year. If we take an example of a machinery, in the first year of its running, there may hardly be any repairs and repairs cost to the machinery. However, after two years and after three years, the amount of repairs required on this machinery may go on increasing. So it is believed that under the reducing balance method, the depreciation reduces while the repairs and maintenance cost goes up. Therefore, in total, in total, the cost of running of the asset remains more or less uniform. That is why the written down value method is quite popular with items of machinery etc. which usually have large repairs expenses as the machine gets older. This is also the method which is normally used for income tax purposes. <clears throat> Under this method, it is also believed that the impact of obsolescence is reduced. Since large amount of depreciation is charged in the earlier years, if the asset were to become obsolete after a few years, maximum depreciation has already been charged and any loss suffered due to obsolescence would be much less. Therefore, some of the features of the written down value method are that first and foremost, it is a fixed rate on a reducing balance on the written down value of the asset. Since it is a fixed rate on the reducing on the reducing balance of the asset, the amount of depreciation in total goes on reducing. Since depreciation reduces but repairs expenditures are likely to go up with respect to some asset as the asset gets older, the total amount 
the total amount charged to the profit and loss account on account of running of the machinery would remain more or less uniform. Usually, this is the method which is also preferred by income tax authorities. And the impact of obsolescence is slightly reduced because maximum depreciation is covered in the earlier years. Let us now look at how the rates of depreciation are arrived at. As discussed before, depreciation amount is always depreciable amount. The total depreciable amount is cost of asset minus the residual value. Now, how is a rate of depreciation arrived at? under the reducing balance method, if the residual value has been estimated, the life of the asset has been estimated, and of course we are aware of the cost of the asset. The depreciation rate is supposed to be 1 minus the nth root of residual value by cost of assets into 100. The nth root of residual value by cost of assets into 100 this is outside the root so the rate of depreciation is 1 minus nth root of residual value by cost of assets into 100 where n is nothing but the useful life of the asset if we take an example where the cost of the asset is 4000 estimated life is 2 years and the residual value is 1000, the rate of depreciation would be 1 minus second root of square root of 1000 by 4000 into 100, which is nothing but 1 minus square root of 1 by 4 into 100 equal to 1 minus half into 100 equal to 50%. Applying the rate as computed, suppose we get cost of the asset 4000, residual value 1000 and we have computed this rate of 50%. How does it work? In the first year, the cost of the asset is 4000. Depreciation is at the rate of 50%. 50% 50 of 4000 is 2000. So that the written down value now is 2000 at the end of year 1, beginning of year 2. Again, we charge 50% depreciation on this. 50% of 2000 is 1000. So that we now have a written down value of 1000, which is actually the scrap value. Year 1, depreciation is 2000, written down value 2000. Year 2, depreciation is 1000, written down value is 1000, which is also the scrap value considering that the life of the asset is only 2 years.